Hi everyone, my name's Trevor Ross, and this is a picture of me on Lac d'Ur down in central France. It's a big lump of water and I was reflecting there on some times gone by, you know, back in the early 80s, some great friends. This is me again looking out to where some fish were jumping, hoping to catch one, uh, which we eventually did. And we've got a video coming up shortly that I think would be really interesting to, to all you guys out there that go across to France and try and catch some of these uncaught monsters that, that no one else has really caught before. This is one I caught back in 2012, I believe. It's uh, a 52 common. Really pleased with this fish. And I don't think uh, it had been caught before. There was no marks in its mouth. So I'm um, really pleased with that. And I'm sure we're all looking to catch fish of that, that stamp. This is my old truck, done 300,000 miles, this old girl. Really uh, haven't been able to replace uh, this truck since then, or four before, used to go anywhere, take all my gear anywhere, sleep in the back, great truck. So, um, you know, would like to try and find another one, but um, I'm very doubtful whether I will in this day and age. I'm going to show you a video shortly. Paul Forward, Dave Woods and I ventured across to Lac Dur in the early 80s. It's much too late to do anything really, and we found the levels have dropped quite a considerable way since John Baker and Dennis came out here. Uh, however, we uh, called down to see the uh, Belgian anglers fishing further up the bank up here. They're all fishing quite a long way out, uh, 250 metres, well past that bar out there and uh, within a few uh, hours of coming here they caught two thirties and a forty pound up it convinced us we're in uh, somewhere like the right area we slept the night up there near the church and uh, got down here first thing this morning we've gradually got a gear down here and we've got plenty of gear Dave and Trevor sat up over there and I'm on the point just here. Time's now about four o'clock. We've managed to get all the gear set up. And uh, nobody's had a fish today. It seems to. So people have been rowing boats in and out all day long. Trevor and Dave have set up on this little bit of mud here. There's actually a few bricks and old remains here. And they're casting out towards uh, Alan Parbridge, fishing on the road over there. I don't know if you can see our boys out there. They're about 200 to 300 yards. There's a few more boys out there. Quite very, very shallow in the edge. And this is arm set up here on this point. The right end rod, he's uh, well round to the uh, right, as you can see. There's a pike angler in the distance there. We're getting everything just about set up now and uh, we're just waiting for a carp take which uh, we hope going to come during the night. Aren't we Woodsy? This is one of the Belgian friends we met, this is Johan Janssen, Janssen Sport and he's caught a fish of 18 and a half kilos, 40 pounds, 8 ounces. We're going to have a look at it in a minute. Eight, Eighteen and a half kilo. Johan, yeah. Right. Oh, 
That's a good shot. Yeah, nice fish. That's good. Yeah, just thought I'd come in at this point. Uh, some of the sound quality isn't great um, with with Paul's mic there, so you may have to t turn the sound up. And we're just moving on to some of these lads that that we met at the lake. They come from Janssen Sport. I don't know if they're still going at Janssen Sport, Dutch and uh, Belgium lads. And they're just some of the fish they caught while we were um, fishing at, up the other side of them. And uh, when they eventually moved off, we we moved in and started catching in that area and as you can see it's pretty muddy and uh, it was plastic bags in the boots time because you just couldn't keep dry but um, I hope you're enjoying the video and um, these are the lads from from Janssen Sport so uh, I'll leave it to them Off he goes. Very, very shallow in the margin. There he goes. This is Friday morning. Uh, we had no action at all at night. Dave and Trevor are uh, out with the markers out there. Yeah, baiting up again. We've seen a couple of fish, just a couple, uh, but none of us had any action at all at night. I think we're going to give it another night in this spot and look to move. Max has just been down and uh, he thinks we ought to be on him. Friday night now, Friday evening, and uh, none of us have had a bite yet, and we've wound the baits all in, and uh, there's been no problem. All the baits are back in position, and the area's rebaited, although I'm sure the bait's still there from the night before. I've seen a few small fish, maybe carp, move out there. The water's going down quite quick. Six inches this last day, maybe. The Belgian boys had about eight or ten chances last night, uh, landing four or five carp around 14, 16 kilo. If we don't catch anything here tonight, they're going tomorrow. We're going to move on their spot. You never know, though. Let's wait and see. Here we are. It's, uh, I've missed a couple of days recording because nothing's happened. We've uh, moved off the point yesterday to fish where the Belgian guys have been. That was Dave uh, kicking his rod. To fish where the Belgian guys had some fish. Um, getting harder and harder. The only swim on the lake um, where any takes are coming from at all is this swim. The place is a nightmare. The mud is a nightmare. It's very, very, very cold. Yesterday afternoon, shortly after settling in, Dave had a fish for 23 pounds. Next turn with Trevor, he had a fish. 27 pounds in the night. And myself, one of 18 pounds. 
the um, follow up all of the that you offer on that thing. The uh, chance from there to pack up, um, we're all we're all ready to farm really. The least catch the sheep, but uh, ready to be going home. Nice Woodsy, nice. The uh, first light. All the other anglers are bringing their tackle here. All been here for a long time. There's no fish waiting to move in as soon as we go. I think all the Dutch people are crazy, but <laughs> English people? <laughs> Thank you. 